Okay, today guys, we are at Hitler's Bunker Complex in Eastern Prussia. It's called the Wolfschatze. Wolfschatze. The Woods Wolf's Lair. It's where Hitler directed most of his uh, war efforts in the East from. So a lot of uh, important historical events would have gone down because of this place. Uh, if you've seen the movie Valkyrie, it's about the events where Hitler was, they att attempted to assassinate Hitler here. And let's get into it. Let's explore this place and see what it's all about. This cat pets. thing. Six? Yeah. Do they have uh, thematic names? What's their names? Uh, well, listen, you will be laughing. Mr. Goebbels. This is Goebbels? Goebbels. <laughs> if you see black one, so will Mr. <coughs> Hermann Goering. <laughs> well, Goebbels <laughs> likes me at least. <laughs> Goebbels, yeah. Oh, where's Hitler? Is that the, the lead cat? <laughs> so, actually, you know, yeah, it was 10 years ago, yeah. Mr. Goebbels! <laughs> <laughs> this is Goebbels, Herr Goebbels. <laughs> so, listen, if you are okay, we yeah. can start. I make YouTube videos. Do you mind if I, I video? Sure, of course. Okay. Even uh, I surprise you. I know root song about Hitler, which was popular in Europe, okay. which was discovered by British soldiers. So I could think even now. All right, yeah, dancing. I'd love that. So the rumor was that Hitler wasn't a complete man and he had just one ball. <laughs> the song is about this. Play, uh, maybe you guess which film is melody. So listen, Hitler had only got one ball. Gehring had got but very small. Himmler had something similar, but for small go balls, had no balls at all. Param tari ram pam Is that true, Goebbels? You don't have any balls? No, yes. <laughs> dobre, dobre. Yeah. So this is the story. Of course, uh, this is maybe rumor, but uh, trust me, Hitler was staying here and uh, was all the time his physician, Dr. Morel, uh -huh. who okay. gave him some, you know, extraordinary <laughs> medicine, <laughs> like uh, after cleaning and then also stuff. So by the way, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we just realized it's January 24th. Which is the anniversary, right? Yes, um, because uh, uh, German uh, people destroyed this uh, place 24th January 1945. Scorch Earth policy. Before that army came. So anyway, three days later, uh, Russian came here. We must remember that the day 24th January, Red Army was only, let's say, 20 kilometers, 15 miles further east from here. Okay, wow. Yeah, so anyway, this is the timing. Good, good luck, good, good yeah. timing, yeah? Yeah, so oh, actually, uh, to finish, German had no time to destroy all bricks buildings, so yeah. that's why Polish people repair after war. Yeah. But they destroyed seven huge bunkers, yeah. so they could see remains, and smaller construction, because, by the way, we've got two types of construction. Type B, thickness of roof, two meters, soon mm -hmm. I will show you, with windows, and huge bunker that had no windows at all. Behind us, you said this is a hotel that closed two weeks ago. Do they have any plans to reopen it? Uh, well, I suppose because we have a season uh, yeah. uh, May, uh, maybe August, because it's a little delay. But I hope because this building, it's new one behind us, and here modern toilet. So it was open, let's say, one month ago. Okay. Okay. okay so just a moment. So let's go. I would like to tell you that uh, total number for bodyguards here. Oh, I told you, second cat. No, All right, this more. one's Goering. They're very, uh... It's, it's not the same. He's, he's more... Also, <laughs> he's trying to get out of the cold, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one is Adolf he's Hitler. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And Hitler said, I am immortal, the providence support me. And of course, he, do, he went to guest bunker because it was temporary place for Hitler. So Mussolini visit was 4 p.m. until 6 p.m. Hitler gave left hand to say goodbye because what the problem was Hitler. He was bleeding and he had problem with right hand. So directly behind me, there's a small plaque that, that talks, or not plaque, but a, a, uh, yeah. a, a sign that talks about the Valkyrie plot and the attempt to assassinate Hitler here at his eastern headquarters. Exactly, and then look, uh, after this situation, uh, so let's say about midnight, because it was 6 p.m., Hitler prepared speech broadcasting by radio to German nation. What happened with Mussolini? Uh, he, Stauffenberg, he was arrested in Berlin. 
he uh, was shot, but other people were hanged in Pletzenze. Mm -hmm. Because Hitler said, no chance for people who were against me. 22 German generals lost life. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. Many, many of the or the conspirators were hung on meat hooks, right? Yes. Yeah, first, like like I, a pig, right? Yes. And the first execution was 8 August 44. In Jeez. hidden camera, they shooting film. We know that after the plot, it was July. Hitler was staying nonstop until uh, November. Only he needed information who was arrested, who was next. Mm. Stauffenberg family survived. Three sons of Stauffenberg opened this memorial, which. So you could see in your lovely blue book, you could find three picture, uh, picture of uh, Stauffenberg son. Yeah. Because before you, it's coming people from France. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Here's a bunker you can actually enter right here. So was it was DF, the small, yeah. small place. Interesting. So listen, if you trust me, we could... Uh, oh yeah, I trust you. Uh, oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the gap here is for self-absorption. Stop exactly. the box. So like when, yeah, okay. This is first construction to wow. the with camouflage. They added this. Bravo, With a gap. Yes. Okay. So actually, if wow. tall boy destroy one part, so yeah, you get hold with nothing. Nice. Okay. This <laughs> what, what was this building? Post office? Uh, this building was for typists. Typists. Typists, okay. So actually, uh, shorthand writers were here. If you put small stick, it means that your dream realized. Okay, your, your dreams you will be realized. Back, you back to Poland, like coin to the fountain. If you put huge, oh, huge, you get married very good. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you need those, man. <laughs> so, actually, before war, when people started visit, they said, oh, let's support war, otherwise war fallen down. Mm. But now the story is funny, like like joke, of course. Okay. Foundation keep this war. Here, Peter, video me yes. for a second. You're going to find a stick? Yeah, I'll go grab a stick. <laughs> that will give you no chance to find. You'll get a stick. <laughs> No, I thought you won't break that. It's not dead. Break. No, it's no, 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 no. It's living. Oh, this is, oh it's, it's dead. Fully, yeah, yeah. yeah, if it's dead, it's okay. But that, it's dead. Yeah, it's fine. I don't want it's to kill. Object. I don't want to kill a good tree. <laughs> <laughs> the, the eco warriors will be after him. <laughs> oh God. No, no, dobrze, dobrze. Oh, probably you do like tsh, tsh, try. Yeah. yeah. Dobra. I think it's now all right. Oh, yeah, I think I can. Oh, give, give it a give it a whack. Yeah. yeah. Bravo. Okay, Lane. Now we we go support the wall. Right. Mine isn't gonna be very much support. This is very. <laughs> <laughs> it's more uh, an artist. It's a really tradition. So a lot of dreams, a lot of uh, uh, interesting stories in Poland, and finally got married. Good. There you go. Yeah. So. There we go. Bravo. That one's mine. If you come and visit, that one's yeah. mine. <laughs> so, yeah. Bring your own knives. Yeah. Did Albert Speer design the bunkers? This or? is Hitler's yeah. bunker coming up. No, not everything. Because oh, you could ask me why this the number is unlucky number for Hitler. Of course, as a Polish people will have a sense of humor. So when 50 years ago they opened for public and to show more people uh, how to go to visit ruins, they said, oh, number 13 for Hitler's place will be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this is inside Hitler's yeah. bunker. Yeah. In the wolf's lair. To guide you, I have no you light, light a candle. But listen, candle, because you know we have a Crazy. bizarre tourist who yeah. coming for Hitler's birthday. Put oh, candles. oh they light like, they light candles yeah, it for Hitler's birthday. Twenty April. So oh my goodness. yeah, I mean sometimes. So anyway, oh, this is the system, <laughs> and then ten rooms was inside three hundred square meters. Good lord. Wow. So we could. So directly behind me, this is a, the remains of a flak bunker that was here to protect the Nazi elites while they had their meetings and led the uh, German state and German war effort from here. But much like everything else here, it was destroyed during the retreat from here. Something I think that's important to uh, point out is that when this was built originally, this wasn't in Poland. This used to be Germany. This was East Prussia. This was like an integral part of Germany, but now it has been given to the Polish state. So 
No longer is this in Germany. This is now solidly Polish. So this is the ceiling part, correct? Of the bunker. So you can see just how thick it was and how reinforced it was to try to protect Hitler and his henchmen in this general area. It's amazing. This is a really beautiful place. I really like it here. Yeah. So this is where the bombs were actually prepared for the Valkyrie assassination plot before carrying them down. He had seven minutes from here to leave it and then get yeah. out, correct? Yeah, actually he had to back to car parking and driver who didn't know what Stauffenberg made. He said, excuse me, Colonel, where is your cap and belt? Because Stauffenberg in a hurry left cap and belt in a corridor mm -hmm. in the building where was a briefing. He said, it's none of your business. Go to Aerofield. They going, going, approximately two kilometers from here where was a, the, they stopped the car, but finally Stauffenberg could go through forest to Aerofield. Driver observed them and he saw that somebody threw a packet. During investigation, they found second bomb, which Stauffenberg and his helper, Mr. Heftend, don't need or had, didn't need to transport it to Berlin because Stauffenberg was sure that Hitler had been killed. <laughs> so now we get to go inside of the Goering bunker. He was in charge of the Air Force for the Germans. And his bunker is off in the corner, but it's also the best preserved one. So we get to go inside and see a little close, more similarly to what they would have been like inside. And they actually recently put lights in here. So it's much more convenient. This is what it looks like coming in. Oh, here you see a little ladder getting up to the roof. Oh yeah. Have a look. Someone, ha someone has had a beer here, but it looks at this. Yeah. <laughs> Picture on the top, a place for machine gun, other part of the roof. Okay, so this was the roof of this one. Yeah, I mean here. Okay, well. And then... Uh, that's not here, is it? That's somewhere it's else. It's here, because oh. soon I will show you this metal ladder, other side. Okay. Because in this bunker, one ladder was inside, so people, uh, soldiers could reach flak tower. What does it mean, flak tower? There was uh, eight soldiers, cannon, 20 millimeters for eight soldiers and for machine gun, MG42. So by the way, on the roof, I climb it thousand times. <laughs> You've got two flag towers mm -hmm. and one a place for machine gun closer to railroad. Okay. We could see here Hitler after the plot. Oh, poor Adi, he got problem with right hand bleeding. Oh, I can't hear you. We Is are General here? Jodl wounded because 11 people were wounded. People after the plot were transported to hospital, five kilometers from here place called Karolevo. And then we could see typical bearing position, Big fat, fat. Yeah. addicted <laughs> morphine, and then have a look, maybe yeah. coffee waiting for us. Here was the first door, hermetical door, electricity tables. So I am now in a uh, gas lock, because second door was here. Okay. So if enemy use gas, the gas couldn't go inside. Okay. So actually, watch a step. The room started here. When they made for Taurus two years ago, this is the door, look, yeah. rust door, where the stay, I mean, where here as a ruins in okay. this corner. Mm. Huh. Yeah. Other side part, it yeah. was like supporting. This, this P symbol, what does that represent? P, uh, it represents Polish underground army, Poland fighting. Uh, and uh, we've got underground army during uh, where Hitler attacked my country first, September 39. And when uh, Red Army was closer to Warsaw, the decision is maybe we could start fighting. Maybe Great Britain support us because our government escaped mm. to London. So we didn't want to be in communist system. But anyway, 63 days defeat and Hitler said no mercy for these people. 200,000 people were killed. And Stalin, who was staying with Red Army in other bank of uh, yeah. River Vistula, well, we must kill them like the like German people. So we wait. So, uh, in order to camouflage the um, the base, I suppose the Germans put in these types of fake trees. Now, these are reconstructions, not the originals, but they've really done a great job of actually recreating these kind of 
these uh, these almost look like mushrooms <laughs> in some strange way or another. I so here they made a reconstruction of what the bombing office looked like. This isn't the original, obviously. The original is on stop number three, but here it is. Reconstruction of where they attempted to assassinate Hitler. So this is the communications bunker. They have like an ambient noise of communication signals to kind of give the uh, the aura of what this was to kind of give a little bit more of a feeling of being here in the communications bunker. This is one of the places that a lot of messages would have been originated from going all over Europe to, you know, give Hitler's orders to destroy Warsaw, to destroy Paris, to invade country X, whoever it may be at the time, you know, stuff like that. Dobra, dobra. Okay, aha, it's All right. a, well, yeah. So, well, it was nice to guiding uh, this lovely person from America and for Ireland, Peter and, uh, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> and in the end, maybe I tell you a joke about Hitler and Mussolini. Hitler went to Mussolini, uh, to Italy. And they wanted to say hello each other. First started Hitler, Ave Emperor, Ave Caesar. He, Mussolini looked at Hitler and said, Ave Imitatore, Ave person who follow me. Because the fascist was born in Italy, mm -hmm. gesture was used by Mussolini, and Hitler followed Mussolini. So that's why he said, uh, Ave uh, Imitator, Ave the <laughs> Imitator, Ave the Imitator, okay. <laughs> Thank you. What, what's your name? Jadwiga. And how could people contact you if they want to get a uh, tour with you? I could uh, give you yeah. my card, mm -hmm. or just Jadwiga, or just Facebook, or WhatsApp, like this. So I could okay, keep. perfect. You yeah. can zoom in. Right here. It's really good. Really recommend a tour with Yavika. She was okay. so knowledgeable. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Really it Thanks was nice. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Uh, so directly inside of this place, there's actually a small like armored vehicle collection from World War II era vehicles. I think that one's not World War II era, but most of them look like they're from World War II. A couple German and a couple American things that reenactors use here. It's really nice to see, but Unfortunately, right now they're covered over. But yesterday when we pulled up here, it was a little too late. They were uh, closing, but one of them was driving around. So maybe in the summer you can come and get a ride in one of them. So nearby the bunker complex, there's actually a beautiful airfield. It looks like a really cool museum. Unfortunately, it's closed right now. You see there's a MiG-21 right here. You got, you know, whatever Polish helicopter that is. But unfortunately, we can't go in. It's closed today. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Unfortunately, it's closed today. Actually, maybe it's not, but I don't know. Maybe we could just call this number and they'd let us in. I don't know. But unfortunately, it's closed today. So I think that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Well, today we're at the Missourian Lakes here in what was the Prussian Lake District. Now it's the Polish Lake District. And uh, I don't know the Polish name for it, in East Prussia. And this area had a canal system that they were working on to uh, connect to the Baltic Sea. But unfortunately, that project never was completed. But we do have a little bit of interesting history right here that we're going to go and we're going to get into. Here. So let's go check this out. Let's go beep it out. So I don't particularly know the history of these very well. But Peter has been saying that these locks here built to control the flooding of the water it looks like mm -hmm. are used for u-boats or something along yeah. those lines so they were built they were built in the third in the 40s as a kind of like a secret place to repair u-boats i don't think they ever really fully were used but the idea was that you could bring your u-boat in there and float the water up so quite quite a, quite a really impressive feat of engineering in the middle of this place like right in a forest that like Quite far from the coast, I think we're a good bit away. Like the idea that U-boats would be brought up these canals here, which are now full of like, like na nature has kind of taken over these canals at this point now, but this, this facility really looks like something out of a, I don't know, it's like a mysterious kind of facility right so in the middle of nowhere. Most places that you'll visit, 
with any sort of German World War II heritage have their Nazi emblems all kind of removed away. But here, I can't really show you right now very well, but there is the German eagle, Der Deutsche Adler, with the, Nisch, with the swastika like ring under it. But the actual physical eagle itself is kind of taken away. So it's just like the etching into the wall. But let's see if we can go a little closer. See if there's a a real Nazi swastika here. <laughs> here we are and here's the eagle. You've got your, your cut out for it right there, but it is very much gone. There's some graffiti all about. Oh, there's a door open. So we're gonna go inside of it too and check this place out. But I just wanna point out the natural beauty of this area. So it is winter, as you can tell by the uh, snow. So it is a little different <clears throat> than if you draw, you come here most of the year. But I do think this is a really beautiful time to come here because it does look really nice. So yeah, let's go inside, and check this place out. One thing I'll say about this place that Peter read when he was looking it up is there's a guy who owns the farm that's directly adjacent to this and he tries to charge for parking. Um, so if you come here and you want to not pay for parking, you can park on the road. He doesn't have any rights to the actual place itself, but he does own the farm that you can park on if you want to and pay him to uh, come and visit. So check it out. Do what you want. That's at your discretion. We parked on his farm. He didn't come outside, though, to ask us to pay yet. But I'm sure he has been made aware that we are parked there and will come out when we come back. Here's a little side view of this U-boat pen, I guess, is what it, it, a good description for it. And again, it's really beautiful here right now. So I'm really uh, enjoying a little hike. It's not very far off the road. Don't be confused when you come. There is a little like lock. Uh, right next to his farm. You definitely need to go up the, there's like a little embankment, go up it and uh, walk over here. Unfortunately, all the information here is just in Polish when you get here. So there's a few options you could do. One, read about this place before you come. Two, learn Polish. Or three, you could use one of those translating apps that you could take a picture and it'll translate uh, the, the text for you. That's probably the option I would go for, but it's all at your discretion. Good luck and enjoy. So something Peter's been noticing is this place is actually covered in like zip lines and uh, they have like little walkways where you can walk above the uh, bunker itself or the area itself. So there's like a, some sort of tourist thing that's set up here where you can zip line and walk on ropes and ladders and stuff over open air. You're probably on a harness, I'd imagine. And yeah, that's one of the things that they now offer here. They didn't used to, I'm sure. That makes <laughs> but, sense. Yeah, it's definitely something that's either in the works of getting set up or it has been recently set up, so. I imagine it's a pretty unique experience zip lining over an old uh, U-boat bunker. <laughs> yeah, so. If you want to come check that out, obviously the winter season isn't the time for that, but maybe in summer, spring, that might be the time. So here you can see, this is sort of the U-boat pin. This is the area that they would have uh, brought their boats into. This is like a little, I don't know, something. But yeah, this is it. This is the place you can come visit. It's really nice. It's really nice. Uh, I don't have anything else really to say about it. Yeah, it's quite incredible. It's 21 meters deep. So that's quite incredible because like, so you get, you float your U-boat in here, stabilize it with wood, and then you could empty the water out and then do repairs from underneath it. So it allows you, it's a dry dock effectively. But again, it's, it's really unusual because it's like, again, this is going to be fresh water. So you're bringing your U-boat into fresh water to do your repairs. Um, it's not like a fish, Peter. It doesn't care what water it's in. It might. You know, really wants to go back to rivers. <laughs> <laughs> but that's going to be it for our day in the footsteps of the Nazis. I hope cool? you guys, it, I hope you guys enjoyed.
If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Well, Peter, what did you think of the bunker? Hey, it's really nice. It looks like a modern art gallery, to be honest with you. You look at the kind of concrete and the kind of unusual kind of shapings of it, and plus the fact that it's, you know, it's dry. You're probably seeing it the way it wasn't meant to be seen, but that being said, you get to see all that kind of, just the, the sheer labor that was involved in building something so interesting like this. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a building of war. So it's, it's something that, but yet when you see it in the snow, it's, it has its own beautiful aesthetic. What do you think of this weather, Peter? I know you don't really get this kind of stuff, so. It's, you, look at this, Peter, you got pine cones. Don't you love plants? I do, I do like pine cones. This one, this is a pine cone. <laughs> you can take it home with you. I could, but yeah, I know the weather I'm not used to, but I really enjoy it because it's just something I'm just, you just don't get. In, uh, we don't get this kind of snow in Ireland. It's refreshing. Um, we saw some moose earlier, but unfortunately we couldn't video it because it was just off the side of the road. Yeah, they were quite mythical, mythical beasts. Like, quite incredible. Um, like, oh, look at that. We yeah. made like a little lock. Yeah. Or that's, what you could call that is a weir. Peter was totally wrong about the U-boats. Um, There's never any U-boats that came. I read information online, unfortunately, and it did say something like that. But yeah, we were corrected by one of the guides in the museums who was really, she was a great historian, so local historian. So she was able to tell us that it was uh, mainly the reason as to why they built those uh, canals, even though it has the, the German symbol. Uh, what's it called again? You had it. The eagle? Yeah, the eagle. Uh, the reason why they built it was to transport steel uh, from the interior to the, um, to parts of just different parts of Russia I guess to kind of like improve the economy yeah so, so Peter is fake news fake news 